Hi everyone! Today we'll be doing a high yield step one review of vasculitis. Like always, I'll be mentioning a clinical vignette. Take a second to pause the video and try to guess the condition that I'll be explaining. Let's get started. The first patient is an elder female with a headache on one side, jaw pain, muscle stiffness, a high ESR, it can lead to blindness, and we treat this condition with steroids. So this is giant cell temporal arteritis. Next, we have a young Asian female with poorly palpable pulses in the upper extremities. So this is Takayasu arteritis. Now remember, the first two conditions that I just mentioned are both examples of large vessel vasculitis, and they can both have granulomatous inflammation on histology. Next, we have a young male smoker whose fingers change color and hurt in the cold weather. So this is Berger disease, also called thromboangitis obliterans. And remember this condition here, it presents with a Renaud's phenomenon, which is why the fingers change in the cold weather. And this condition is actually treated with smoking cessation. Next, we have a young Asian child who has red eyes and tongue, a skin rash, swollen lymph nodes, a fever, and swelling of the hands and feet. They can develop coronary artery aneurysm, and we treat this with IVIG and aspirin. So this is Kawasaki disease. Remember here, a really important complication are the coronary artery aneurysms that can happen. And this is one of the only conditions that we treat these children with aspirin, right? Because remember, aspirin can cause Rye syndrome. Next, we have a patient who has hepatitis and they develop fever, abdominal pain, and renal microaneurysms. So this is polyarteritis nodosa. And the renal microaneurysms are really important here. Remember the th previous three that I just talked about, Berger disease, Kawasaki, and polyarteritis nodosa are all examples of medium vessel vasculitis. Next, we have a Middle Eastern patient with ulcers, and there is an association with HLA-B51. So this is Bessette syndrome, and remember ulcers can happen anywhere. So if you see a patient that has like ulcers in the mouth, the genital region, think of Bessette syndrome. Next, we have a patient who gets palpable purpura on the skin after taking a new medication or getting a recent infection. So this is leukocytoplastic vasculitis. Next, we have a patient with asthma and they develop purpura, abdominal pain, kidney issues. Histology is gonna show cells with a bilobe nucleus and there's an MPO ANCA, P ANCA positive. So this is eosinophilic granulomatosis with polyangitis, also called Schurg-Strauss. And remember the cells here that I'm talking about are the eosinophils. So especially if you see this type of histology along with the asthma and then this whole range of other conditions, definitely be thinking of this condition. And this is another one with the name, we can see that it has granuloma formation. Next, we have a patient that has sinusitis, they're coughing up blood, they have hematuria, 
and we have PR3 ANCA, C ANCA positive. So this is granulomatosis with polyangitis. And remember, there's a triad of upper respiratory, lower respiratory, and kidney problems. And this is another one that you have the granulomas. The next patient is going to have lung issues, kidney issues, and skin issues. No granulomas, but it is going to be MPO ANCA and P ANCA positive. So this is microscopic polyangitis. Now remember, the antibodies are the same as the eosinophilic granulomatosis, but we don't have any eosinophils or asthma. Next, we have a patient with hepatitis C who develops palpable purpura, weakness, and tingling in the feet. So this is cryoglobulinemia. Next, we have a patient with a recent respiratory infection who develops palpable purpura on the butt and the legs, and it can lead to abdominal pain from intussusception. So this is IgA vasculitis. Another name for it is henoch Schonlein. So look out for the recent infection, and then the development of the vasculitis. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know if you have any other questions, and I hope you found this helpful. Good luck studying, everyone.